Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is such a fun video. I am so excited to do this video for you guys. Let's see if you guys can see this without pulling off the cord. This is a review and demo of the Dr. Dennis Gross Pro Facial Steamer. So let's go ahead and get started. skincare videos because I don't have to get ready for it. I can just show you my bare face even though I'm so scared to show it to you guys. So I asked my husband for Christmas to get me a pro facial steamer and I've been eyeing this Dr. Dennis Gross for over a year now and I just couldn't bite the bullet. It is $150 at Sephora. Actually $149 to be precise but you know there's tax and everything. I just want to thank my husband for buying this for me. This is what it looks like right here. It has a nice handle so you can just kind of carry it wherever you need it to go. I've used this steamer two times now. Um, there's things that I learned after using the first try and then the second time around it was way better. Is it worth it? You have to wait to find out at the end of this video. So before I get started, Let's just make it clear that I am not a skincare expert. I try to give you my most honest review, but I am not an expert. So I suggest that you still do your research as far as the pros and cons and benefits of this steamer, but I can only tell you what my experiences are. So with that said, I did do my own research. Facial steamers are best used after cleansing. So you can cleanse and tone and then do the steaming, but I prefer to go bare face. Like I don't want any product on my face. So right now my face feels a little imbalanced. I just got out of the shower. I've cleansed my face. I used the Murad Hydration AHA BHA cleanser. This is such a good cleanser. If you want to know more about it, comment down below. So the normal process is to cleanse your face, steam, do an extraction if you're at the spa, but we're at home. I am not a professional. I'm not going to do any kind of extraction on my face. And then after steaming, you can follow up with your serums, with your moisturizers. Now, in my case, I would always have to put some acne medication as well under my serum so that's part of my routine this is the dr dennis gross pro facial steamer and it looks like this i hope you guys can see that I already have it plugged to an outlet for you guys so i don't want to move it around too much but this is what it looks like you start off with putting water in the water tank now this is the water tank right here in the back you pull it out there's some resistance to pulling it out, but it will pop out nicely like that. I was surprised how small and tiny this water tank is. Now you want to fill this up with distilled water, not tap water. Tap water can kind of ruin the integrity of the steamer. And if you've owned like clothing steamers, like the big one, I know I bought them. I've been careless with that in that I was using tap water and it broke within a couple of months. So I'm thinking the way the steamers work, they really need to work with purified distilled water. This one, I have the Nestle's Pure Life Purified Water. So hopefully this works because it says purified, distilled means purified water. It's really important to not use tap water because tap water contains heavy metals as well as toxic chemicals that could ruin your steamer. I'm using bottled water. I don't think every single bottled water is considered distilled water. So you just have to look out for that. Aquafina and Dasani brands are distilled water. So that's something that you can try. I'm gonna open up. So it comes with a cap like this. It's a fresh water bottle right here. I don't wanna make a spill. This little tiny water tank is supposed to last you a good nine minutes of steaming. I've seen other water tanks that are bigger. So I'll definitely show you guys 
other pro facial steamers that I've found. My skincare sister, Vanessa Beauty, bought her own facial steamer over the holiday break and she bought a different brand, different price point, so definitely check her out. She's going to have a video about it very soon. Okay, so now I've placed it back in. There's the back right there. We are ready to steam. This is a basic steamer. It has an on and off button. There are no levels of heat. There's only one level. It's suitable for dry locations. I've tried doing this in my bathroom sink, and that's nice too, but I feel like I'm still standing there and I'm having to like maintain the proper distance. It's kind of uncomfortable. I prefer doing it here on a tabletop with a chair, you're sitting and you have a nice comfortable distance between you and the steamer. I think nine minutes is the maximum duration for steaming, at least for this one, but I think in general, you don't wanna go over that and I'll tell you why because I did try to go over that. <laughs> Let's see, you wanna maintain an eight inch distance between your face and the facial steamer. You don't wanna get too close because if you get too close, you're definitely gonna feel kind of like suffocating. It's just too much steam all over your face and it's not comfortable. And also, you know, this is steam. So to avoid burns, you wanna maintain a safe, good distance which is eight inches or farther. So let's go ahead and do a demo. I will turn this on. Let me just put a clip here real quick. So this is about a good comfortable eight inch distance. I hear it now. Can you guys hear it? So now let's go over the benefits of facial steaming. The main benefit of facial steaming is hydration, but there is a caveat to that and I'll tell you guys at the end of this video. Another benefit of facial steaming is that steam opens up your pores and helps loosen any buildup of dirt for a deeper cleanse. So it opens up your pores and also softens blackheads, making them easier to remove. Third benefit of facial steaming is that it promotes circulation. The combination of warm steam and an increase in perspiration dilates your blood vessels and increases circulation. So as you can see, the steam is starting to slow down and eventually it's going to stop steaming. Okay, looks like it's done. I'm gonna turn this off. So I am all done with steaming my face. Feels so relaxing. My face feels really warm right now, but it feels so good. Now, the main benefit for facial steaming is hydration, but a lot of people in the comments, in the reviews say this product drive them out and that's because they really didn't do the research behind it. You need to seal that moisture within 60 seconds with all your serums, with all your moisturizer. And trust me, after I steamed the first time, I felt the dryness, the intense drying, cracking of the skin, not right after, but I waited like I had to do something else and 15 minutes later, my face was just uncomfortably dry. And so that's just part of the process. If you don't seal that moisture in, the moisture is going to escape within 60 seconds. So I didn't film it, but right after I steamed, I went and got my moisturizer. In this case, I used the Kate Somerville Dry Skin Saver. 
and I also used a toner before the moisturizer which is my Thayer's facial toner the other thing is this facial steamer requires that you steam once a week before I read the instructions I steamed again like two or three days later and my face became really red and it felt very drying um, by the seven minute mark my face started really drying up so I had to stop the steamer because I didn't want to do anything that would irritate it or make it angry <laughs> you can probably try twice a week but that all depends on your own skin and how you feel about it i feel like my pores have really minimized after steaming um and it's even more apparent after exfoliating so last time on my second try of steaming i did a cleanser and exfoliated my face and then steamed after exfoliating and you can clearly see how glass like my face looked like poreless it was amazing what I recommended for dry skin folks um, if you follow the instructions correctly otherwise you'll hate it I love it because I feel like it reduced the oiliness of my skin so I'm surprised that this is recommended for dry skin, but I think the true benefit lies within the normal to oily skin gal. So that's just me. Skincare is all about balance. For me, I'm overly oily. So this was really good at um, reducing that oiliness and excess sebum because there's a little bit of drying involved um, after steaming. Also, when it comes to acne, you know, I've had problematic skin in the past. Actually, more recently, you can still see the scars. There's still a little bump here. Um, but I noticed that with facial steaming, it helped it heal a lot more. I remember when I had my cystic acne and I did the steamer, the next day it calmed down. It was no longer hard and really hurtful to the touch. I really love that. I love this pro facial steamer i hope it lasts a long time so that is the question for everybody i cannot wait to use this at least once a week this is definitely bringing the spa into your home I highly recommend it now this is a pricey brand in general so you know buy one that's going to fit your budget i just want to recommend to you a couple of steamers that are some of the best steamers in 2020 according to l.com the first one on the list is vanity planet aria facial steamer this is the one that my skincare sister vanessa beauty actually bought for herself um it's 94 dollars, but wait for a sale guys because you can actually get that for sale and there's my dr dennis gross pro facial steamer for 149 best affordable one according to l is con air and you can get that at amazon you have a cult favorite panasonic beauty nano steamer for 58 dollars again from amazon this one by nova looks a little bulky to me but something to look into it's from walmart professional mini facial steamer then the king steam ozone facial steamer is 70 dollars again from amazon so those are the choices i hope you find a facial steamer that will fit your budget and fit your skincare needs hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there so definitely definitely check it out join the family by the way in case you are wondering um i did have a giveaway three of these are going to a lucky winner definitely check Check that video out here if it's still going on um, it closes january 20th that is it guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye